Now the table below gives details for fixed term deposits. Amelia would like to invest $5,000 for two years with the interest paid monthly. We firstly asked what interest rate will Amelia receive? Well for two years, okay, for two years of course is 24 months. So it says for 24 months to less than 36 months we're going to get a 9.5% interest rate. Now that's if you don't read the fine print, okay? Let's look at it. It says, the fine print says, an option is available for interest to be paid monthly. In this case, the interest is reduced by 0.25%. And, okay, Amelia would like the interest paid monthly. So there we have it. You must remember, with all these tables, read the fine print very carefully. So they had the 9.5%. It's being reduced by the 0.25%. That works out to be 9.25% interest. Very good. Part B. How much interest will, re will she receive each month? Well, the interest will be, it's a 9.25%. We write that as 9.25 over 100. We multiply by the $5,000. Now, this stage there, that would be the interest per annum. In other words, that's the interest per year. But we're after how much will she receive each month. So we'll cross off that per year, we're after per month. So what we need to do with our figure there is to divide it by 12. When we do that, we come up with $38.54. In other words, Amelia will receive $38.54 per month interest. Now in this example, we're told that Marie received a new credit card in early June. There is no interest-free period on purchases and a daily interest rate 0.04%. Now this table lists her purchases for June. She receives an account for the month of June and we're asked what is the total interest she will be charged. Now let's go back to the original information. There's no interest-free period and we're given that the daily interest rate is 0.04%. So let's consider one item at a time. Firstly, the clothing. We're, we're asked for the interest, so let's work that out. It's 0.04% per day. And to write 0.04%, it means 0.04 over 100. Because it's a percent, we write it over 100. We multiply by 350. Okay, that was the cost of the clothing. Now that's her daily interest rate. That's her daily interest rate. So let's consider firstly, she bought it on the 10th of June. There are 30 days in June, so she's actually having to pay interest for 20 of the days that are left in June. Okay, we don't count the original 10 days, the initial 10 days in June. So she bought it on the 10th of June, so there are 20 days in June that she's going to pay interest for. So we multiply our interest by 20, 20 days. If we make that calculation, it works out to be $2.80. Right, now what about petrol? Well, let's write down petrol and let's calculate the interest. Again, 0.04%, we write as 0.04 over 100, and we're timesing by the petrol price, which was $25. Now that's her daily interest, okay, so if we work that out, that would be how much she pays daily on the petrol. But she bought it on the 22nd of June. So she only had it, if you like, for the rest of the eight days in June, to make up 30 days in June. So we multiply our interest by eight, and if we make that calculation, it comes out to be only eight cents. All right, so you might think, oh, no big deal, it's eight cents, but you'll find, unfortunately, with credit cards, all these interest charges add up. So let's see what we finally got. $2.80 in terms of clothing, eight cents in terms of interest for petrol, so altogether, her total interest for June is $2.88.